Hey guys, I got an electric scooter a couple weeks ago and I've been commuting with it every day to work and school. It's an amazing experience and today I'm going to do a long awaited in depth review of it. Enjoy. So first off are the controls. The scooter turns on by holding down the button under the screen. That button controls all of the scooter's other functions when it's turned on. Double pressing the button will turn on the powerful light on the bar of the scooter. Triple pressing it will change the speed indicator from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. Finally, the speed mode can be changed by pressing it once. The scooter has three modes, economy, normal, and speed, represented on the display as E and an S. The throttle for the scooter is located on the right handlebar, and the brakes are pretty easy to spot. They're on the left, and they look like regular brakes. It also has a loud and nice sounding bell, which comes pre-installed on the scooter. By pushing down on a lever near the base of the bar, you can collapse the scooter to make it more portable. Then simply lock it on the plastic piece on the rear wheel and you're all good. With its relative light weight, carrying around shouldn't be an issue. But if you prefer to have your hands free, bike locks can easily go through the back wheel of the scooter. I've been locking mine up for weeks without any issues. The scooter also comes with a very useful kickstand. The size of the scooter allows you to fit in places where other vehicles couldn't go. There's also no sound to the scooter and riding uphill isn't a challenge at all. You can wash it with water and it can go through puddles with confidence. It's not completely waterproof though, so just make sure it doesn't sit in water for too long. The acceleration is good with it reaching the maximum speed on the highest mode in around 8 seconds. This speed can vary depending on factors such as the weight of the rider, wind, slope, and the mode of the scooter. I found that in S mode the scooter averaged around 20 26 km per hour, with the highest getting to 30 km per hour. The brakes are pretty good, but I recommend not pressing down to them at full speed. The back tire can wear down quite a bit, and they're not cheaply replaceable. If you must slow down fast, use both your foot and the brake. It can go on grass with slower speeds, and on snow and wet surfaces with enough traction to keep plowing through. Even extremely rough surfaces are rideable. After holding the throttle down for around 10 seconds, a beep will sound and the scooter will go into cruise control. One thing to note about the scooter is that the phone holder doesn't work at all. I've tried it multiple times with the first one having my phone fall on solid concrete. There are reviews online that express the same concern. This guy needed to spend $1,300 on a new phone. Turning on the light also turns on the brake light on the back wheel. Together it makes for a comfortable night riding experience. Here's some footage I took last night with some friends. The range of the scooter can vary depending on which mode it's in. I found that on an S mode it can go around a maximum of 15 kilometers. With normal and economy, the range increases drastically, but with the loss of speed. The battery takes around 4 hours to charge from 0 to 100. The plug-in is located on the left side of the battery with a rubber lid covering it. Here's a time-lapse of me going 9 kilometers through snow, wet pavement, and rough trails and coming up completely fine. Another cool feature is the automatic braking system. When you release the throttle, the scooter automatically brakes itself. And of course, the ride is very smooth with a built-in wheel suspension. Well guys, it basically wraps up today's video. I'm going to be posting more frequently and taking your video requests. This video was paid for by Gyrocopter, so big thanks to them. I wanted to do a review of my electric scooter for a while now, and this is the perfect time to do it. See you guys.